Hi, and welcome to online classes at YCCC. This is a Blackboard orientation for students taking online or hybrid classes, and is intended to help you be successful in your course. My name is Angela Netto, and I'm the Learning Center Director at YCCC. So let's get started. The orientation itself should take about 30 minutes, and just to remember that it's accessible throughout the semester, this web address um, is available to you, and you can access it at any point if you have a question along the way. But what I'd like to do is show you a couple of things about how you might want to finish the orientation. The best thing to do is complete all the videos that are in the online course. And what that is, is if you go back to the Blackboard orientation, this is the video you're watching now. And underneath in every one of the teal boxes is a different video and information that we would suggest would help you in an online class and getting oriented toward an on online class. And they're pretty typical components of an online course. In addition, we've provided you with resources for online classes, which are specific to online classes, and also some time management skills and some videos and some tools to help you uh, adjust to the online environment. We've also asked students this semester, what advice would you give a new student taking an online course at YCCC? And they gave us about 50 answers in these different uh, categories. So you can click on any one of these and get some information about what other students would advise. In addition, we have problems with Blackboard and FAQs, frequently asked questions. There are some typical technical resolutions that can happen with Blackboard. These are some of the recommendations that we usually start with to help troubleshoot those problems. And we also have um, an online help desk that you can ask questions for. So those are available for you for reference. And also here uh, under Ask Your Question is a forum style type of um, chat room basically for students to, to share questions and answers uh, that they might have issues with Blackboard or their online course and this is where they can get some information about that. So back to the orientation. There are some certain things that are really typically uh, good to do if you're in an online class. It's not meant for everyone. It, had to take, it does take a lot of self-discipline and, and motivation in order to complete all your assignments. So here are some of the tips that we typically see a successful student practicing. One is to stay on top of all your assignments. What that means is know when they're due, always pay attention to the due dates, and complete them on time. Another suggestion is to use an academic calendar and plan ahead. On the first day that you log into your course, which is the first day of the semester, what you'll see is a syllabus, and that syllabus will be a guide to the course and the contract with your instructor. And it outlines the deadlines and due dates for all of the assignments that you might have in the class, including reading assignments, quizzes, tests, papers. And it also will provide you with policies in the course that would provide you with information about late policies, late assignments, absences, things like that. And in an online class, you don't have to be online at a certain time any day of the week. You just have to log in periodically. It's not synchronous, meaning that all students are in at the same time. It's asynchronous, meaning that every student can log in when they choose. Another point is to start a weekly routine for assignments. In an online class, you often have a, an assignment that's due every week. That could be a discussion board, a paper, a quiz, and it's something that you have to complete every week. So it's a great idea to have a certain day of the week that you do certain things. So like on Tuesday afternoons, you always do your discussion board posts. And on Friday mornings, you always do your quizzes. It's good to have a routine like that because you don't meet on a weekly basis in class. So it's a good way for you to add some structure to the course that you're in. And log in every day and make it part of your new routine, just like you check your email, just like you check Facebook. Now you're going to add a blackboard to that list. It's typically a good idea to check in every day on your online class just in case there's a, an announcement from the teacher or a discussion board post from another student that you'd like to respond to. It's a very active and engaged way to take a class. And the last thing again is know when things are due. It's really important to keep track of your assignments and, and to pay attention to that. So let's, let's figure out how to log on and begin your online class. To log into any online class, you're going to go to our website, the home page for YCCC. And at the top right, you'll see an icon for Blackboard. And like I said earlier, 
the, the day you want to first sign into your class is the first day of the semester. So make sure that you log in. You do that by clicking on that icon and typing in your username and password. Your username and password is S, first name, last name, no hyphens, no spaces, no capitalization. And then your password is your student ID number that was provided to you. When you've entered those things, you can click on Login. And then you'll hit the landing page for Blackboard, which is the basic um, overview of, of Blackboard. If you have one class or more than one class, you'll see them in this box under My Courses. And these are called modules or tools that you can use. If you have announcements from your instructors, they'll pop up in this box here. And these are other tools you can add. And those are kind of advanced tools. Uh, unless you're really familiar with Blackboard, I wouldn't play with those until you get familiar with Blackboard and feel really comfortable with it. To get into an actual course, you click on the link under My Courses. And what that will do is actually bring you into the course. And this is the essential basic format of a class. And you can see there's a list of components to the course on the left side in this left navigation box. And in this frame, you'll see the reading frame for each of these tools. You'll see a course syllabus, course content, et cetera, et cetera. So every one of these is a link that will change the frame inside the online course. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. One of the things I want to show you about an online class is that there are components that are typically available Every instructor is different, every instructor is unique, so the class is going to be unique. However, there's some structure to it that's similar across all classes. Some parts are available and some parts aren't. It really depends on the, the instructor that you have. So I wanted to show you briefly, and this is one of the resources that are listed in the Blackboard orientation, and we're actually going to go in that route. And this is a resource that you can look at and, and print off if you wanted to, but it basically tells you about the components of a course, an online class, and essentially it is a class that you would have on campus, but now it's created online, so the environment is different, but the assignments and the nature of it is pretty similar. You usually start with a start here point. Most classes have click here to start the class, something like that that would indicate that that's where you begin first thing you should always look for is a syllabus and an assignment schedule. The syllabus, like I said, is your contract with your instructor. It really is the guide to the course and what they promise to teach you. Also, it's your commitment to the policies and the assignments that you're going to be due for the course. Every week, you'll have reading assignments, just like you would in an on-campus class, where you'll read from a textbook you also have usually a place in an online class called course content. It might also be called a learning module. And that's the place where the teacher is basically providing you with information. It's essentially their lecture. It may not be a video of them lecturing to you. It might be a PowerPoint, a PowerPoint presentation. It might be a link to a video. But a supplemental or lecture type of information that they're trying to convey to you. Another component is called a discussion board. And just like in an on-campus class, students have discussions, but now online. So there's a discussion board so that students can share their thoughts and ideas with each other about the course. And oftentimes what will happen is an instructor will pose a question, either once a week or once every other week, in order to um, sort of prompt the discussion. Typically, you're required to post one original discussion of your own and also respond to two others. At times you'll see tests and quizzes. Sometimes you'll have quizzes every week and tests periodically or just tests periodically. But those are online and you usually will get multiple choice type of questions and some with some short answers and you'll take them in that online environment. You also might have weekly written assignments that you have to submit online, sometimes a reflection paper or a critical analysis. If you're in a, a course that has a lot of write, writing requirements, you'll see that. And typically there's a research assignment, a term paper, and sometimes there's even group projects 
online or even presentations that we, you would do. So those are some of the typical ways in which an online classes, class would run. But like I said, remember that every instructor in class is different and unique. And that typically you really need to pay attention to the syllabus. Each, since each instructor is quite individual and, and quite unique, their requirements are also. So over anything else, make sure that you pay attention to what they're requiring and uh, follow their instructions. And that, if you're in multiple online classes, you might find that it changes from instructor to instructor quite a bit. Uh, and that the environment online is quite different. So it might take a, f a while for you to learn how to navigate that class. Uh, just know that it takes some time, but you'll get over the learning curve. Now, I would suggest you go on to watching the video about discussion boards.